grabó. George, uh, George is George. Uh, he's, uh, again, another passionate guy about curling. George and I actually go back really far. Uh, George and I went to high school together, so I've known him for a few years. I'm George Carries. I'm currently working for the Grand Slam of Curling uh, in media, and I own and publish the Curling News, and I also consult in the sport of curling as well. Uh, the Curling News, he took over from uh, Doug Maxwell, who uh, began and, and really developed the uh, media and reporting side. Doug Maxwell is another person who uh, you know, really built the sport and George kind of carried that torch on from the curling news. I took that torch and I ran with it. And uh, you know, it's, it's been a bit of a challenge for sure. I mean, I'm gonna, when I put my uh, time into something, it's 100%, you know, I want the curling news to be a beautiful thing that people treasure and really value. So, you know, on the plus side, we've taken it from, what, 100 or 200 subscribers to over 1,000. And we've upped the print run from a real measly 7,000 or so a bunch of years ago to like 15. But I'm still not happy with that. Why don't we have 200,000 subscribers? Why don't we have hundreds of thousands of people committed to reading the curling news? Uh, you know, some of the answers to those questions lie in uh, just the nature of the sport. The fact that you know, some people in our sport still don't put a value on the sport itself or the things involved in the sport, like the trade, curling equipment, media, stuff like that. And things are slowly but surely changing. It's just taking a while. He's very passionate about the sport. He was uh, actually an Olympic silver medalist in Nagano. The old Harris team called up and said, we're getting the team back together because it's going to be in the Olympics in Nagano. And we're going to go. And I said, Ooh, darn right we're going to go. OK, let's do it. <laughs> You know, people have said something like that, we're going to go to the Olympics and it never happened, like everybody. Since then, he has taken on the roles of being like a curling writer for The Sun, and um, he's also taken on the curling news. And he's always looking for scoops and stuff, and sometimes he might get in trouble for what, uh, what comes in there, but uh, I think we need somebody like that in the game. You know, the work he puts in, six issues a year, it's, it's a great publication, and uh, you know, it, it's, it's something every curler and every curling fan really should have. What is it about curling that makes us do what we do, commit all the time, commit all the headaches? I don't really know, my God. Sometimes I want to saw my own head off. I have a real love-hate relationship with the sport. I haven't been competitive for over a decade now. You know, I've been retired from competition, and it's totally different being behind the scenes. But still, there's this weird love of the sport and a desire to see it grow and continue to grow. The stories he writes always have a lot of color in them. And, you know, it's, it takes a person who knows the sport well, I think, to write and tr truly show the passion in the, in the articles and stuff. And uh, George is definitely somebody who, who brings that to the sport. Quisiera vos.